which I cut in half. And I had to start again because it didn't show the positivity or the love what I wanted to portray. Um, and all these, all the other paintings are, are people staring at phones. But this, this particular painting was, is, sorry, is, is two people staring at each other through their phone. So it's the opposite of you staring at your phone, it's you coming out of your phone. It's like when you're in a long distance relationship, usually, which is very rapid these days, as most of the people are become world travellers as they are very independent. Yeah? So, the phone is the only thing and technology is the only thing that brings these two together, the two lovers together, when they are apart, you know, and this is the only way to keep your love alive, where in the old days you would have had to write letters, send, send telegrams or, you know, wait for the postman, actually. That's why we had this, uh, the, the song, famous postman, if you yeah. remember. We've done right? enough of that. Yes. Understand, recognise them in the beginning, um, and understand. Hopefully, understand the concept of what I'm trying to show. Ask questions about technology, but also use it for good. And this is your first time in India. You're doing exhibition. So how was it experience the first time in India? Daunting, no. terribly daunting. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun being here. It's the whole. Is it Phones, iPads, TVs, all we do is stare at them. That's what I see people doing. Um, before, before these were invented, you used to look at each other. We'd knock on a friend's door and, and go and visit them. Now we text them. People even text each other in the same rooms. That's how bad it's got. So I, I just wanted to ask questions of people. Could you change a bit? What would you change? Could you make your life different? Instead of picking the phone up when there's a lull in the conversation, think of something to say. Compliment your loved one. If you're out to dinner, you've seen so many people out to dinner, couples, they're both on the phone because there's nothing to say. I try to avoid them. I try to leave them at home if, if I can. We do not um, use mobile phones when uh, we are together out no. at dinner no. or friends. We refuse to use our mobile phones because that is our private time, you know, dedicated to our friends and families, you know, because if you notice, most of the times, people who are living in virtual reality, yeah, at the end of the day, they don't have a memory of touch, of a connection, real connection with somebody real. So at the end of their life, or at the end of, say, two years, if you go into research, they don't have any real memory. And that's when they get hollow. It's psych psychologically, it impacts you in a negative way. So if everyone can find a balance between technology and reality, it would be a really good thing. What are you doing paintings? Are you all paintings that you can see? Are you all unique? Each and every one of these paintings is based on a real person. Okay? So each painting you see is based on a real person and a real situation. So it's not come up from thought or it's not come up from, um, you know, digging up for information. Each and every person you see in this painting is real. And there is a story behind each and every one of them. That is a real khasiyat. There was something called a, some program that was going on, being passed on, where kids were mostly teenagers and young kids yeah, were being psychologically controlled and attacked. It was a blue whale game. Blue whale. Yeah. yeah. But they ended up blue. killing themselves. So, themselves. yeah. So it was basically blackmail from an unknown source, uh, which ended up uh, with the kids themselves being killed. You know? It's, uh, it this, was... this painting, sorry. Mm. Yes. Yeah. This painting itself started off as a suicide. Okay. And I didn't want it to be um, negative. Bad, you know. I wanted it to be on the edge of being positive or negative. It could have swing, swung either way. So instead of the, the teenager committed suicide already, okay. it's in the balance. It's called balancing act. But the news around the neck means you all know that, that social media is one, one false move and you're done for, especially children. So 
represents the slip that you could make to make your life hell in the real, in your real virtual virtual world. I think we the next shows Goa. Yeah, we're planning the next show to be at the Cube Gallery in Goa, and then on we are planning to go to Delhi. And then we are also looking forward to going to the Guggenheim Museum. So we'll have uh, Robin's artworks hanging at the Guggenheim. So you all are most welcome to be there as well. सबसे पहली बार तो मैं रोबिन को बधाई दूंगा और उसने बहुत अच्छा हिम्मत किया है कि इस माहौल में शो को अंजाम दिया है और इस पूरे शो की खासियत मैं देख रहा हूँ कि वैसे तो कला जो है उसका कोई डेडलाइन होता नहीं है लेकिन आर्टिस्ट ने जो सोचा है आज का जो परिवेश है इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया खासकर मोबाइल मैं देख रहा हूँ कि ये कितना इम्पोर्टेंट हो गया है जो आर्टिस्ट ने पेंट किया है तो कॉन्सेप्ट वाइज बहुत खूबसूरत रोबिन ने कॉन्सेप्ट लिया है और मेरे हिसाब से बहुत बढ़िया काम है इसके लिए मैं बधाई देना चाहता हूँ ये काफ़ी अच्छा शो है एक सोशल मीडिया पे जो कि आज की लाइफ को बहुत पोट्रे कर रहा है सोशल मीडिया है सो मच गॉड इन टू दीपल्स लाइफ that it has so much influence in their life that they are not able to balance themselves. Like different paintings have been shown, like this painting on the back, my back is showing that, which has been so heavy and so much into their life that they are not able to balance. Another painting is showing that uh, we are so much into the selfies and all that the lady has even forgot to close the tab and then, uh, so this way he has portrayed the social media into painting and how it is influencing but the one painting that he has made that uh, shows some positive also effect of the social media with this painting uh, I think uh, of something love or something he had to, wanted to show in the uh, I love the concept, it was a good concept show. I wish all the best to Mr. Rock. Thank you.